You right guys are the addict. I bet you haven't seen this on Express LRS. Now let's just say I make the mistakes, yeah? So you don't have to. So let's pause it. I'll point out the stuff that you need to look at and I'll show you the equipment that I am using. Because if you read this, apparently we can fly to the moon on a thousand milliwatts. Uh. Yeah, a thousand milliwatts at 50 meters. Something's wrong. Let's start at the beginning. Now this is the Nomad on Gemini mode. The Matek R24TD on Gemini mode. Now watch my dynamic telemetry power. Watch, look, one watt, 500. Wow, 25 back down to 10. It should be 10. Oh, what a tune. So this basically says what happens if you use Gemini mode and it's not a Gemini receiver. What it's basically saying is that one antenna will sync and the other will act as a noise generator. Cancelling out the other antenna. Oh, what a tune! DJ Cryptic mixing it up on the wheels of steel. So look at that TX power. <laughs> One what? 50 meters away. Now the problem and the solution. And remember all you FPV geezers, this has taken forever to edit, so put your thumb up, please. Is this bringing back some memories for ya? Just get up in your room and dance, man. Dance! Okay, let's get serious. Now what you got to remember is that before the Nomad came out, there was three receivers, three true diversity receivers that share the same firmware. The Radio Master RP4 TD, the Matek R24TD and the Happy Model EP1 Dual TD. Now here's the messed up bit that's written wrong. It will screw your head up if you're not on the ball. Now this is two pieces of the puzzle. It is important you hear this. So the RP4TD by Radio Master. First word. Gemini mode compatible, reliable DC DC power supply, customer signal to noise ratio, optimized PCB, blah 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 blah. Now here's the killer, the Matek R24 TD. Now let's read this. Now if you look at the bottom, it says about the generic firmware, and it quite clearly says flash the Radio Master RP4TD firmware. So you flash the Radio Master as the generic. you guys for a little bit of help here yeah, and your input and your comments because I am doing everything right. Same firmwares, it says up here, Express LRS, same antenna mode, Gemini, same true diversity receiver mode, Gemini, 
and it is keeping the LQ high at 100% like it's supposed to. But if I was to tell you that after that video, unfortunately I haven't got the recording, it fail safed. Express LRS fail safed at 50 meters and I luckily have GPS on it. RX lost, return to home. Maybe it's time to accept that we need the new XR series Radio Master that's purposely built with a new chipset for Gemini mode and 2.4 gig and low band 900 megahertz and GemX. Take care, RC Addict. Or maybe we don't even need it at all because there's nothing wrong with a normal Express LRS.